What's up? Hello Orchid fans, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got another Care Collab video. I know I've just released one a few days ago, so this is the second one this week. Um, so we're kind of catching up, I guess, with the um, updates on on some Orchid Care Collabs videos that we've done um, before. So this is basically a one year update and the Orchid we are all presenting is um, Renanthera monachica or Renanthera monachica and as you can see mine is in bloom I'll show you the blooms uh, closer in a second but just to finish up on the care collab you will see all the channels participating on your screen and there is quite a few this time so we've been joined by a few new challenges, which is um, which is really exciting I'll have the links of all of these videos in my description below, so feel free to check them out. Have a look at their monachicas. Um, I hope more people have them in bloom as well, which will be super exciting. So the first care collab that we did, as I say, was about a year ago. And um, as you can see, my plant is still alive, still very nice and cute, and still pretty small as well. So in that video, um, a lot of people said in the comments that even though the plant looks pretty young, it is already kind of capable of blooming. So I was really looking forward to getting those blooms and it took a while, so it took a year. But anyways, you know, I thought it might actually take longer than this. Uh, so I'm super excited about the blooms. Um, so it has grown quite a few leaves since then. We did, we did an update video around i believe around june time last year so about six well actually um about eight nine months ago so um yeah it's you know it's been growing pretty well i've got this an awesome long root um as well it is it's now stopped growing but it it was growing for quite a while um but yeah it seems pretty nice and healthy so in terms of the blooms, I will try and take some close up, maybe photos or videos so you can actually see these blooms better. This one just opened this morning and it started opening yesterday, but now it's nice and flat. This one has opened a few days ago. Sorry, I know it's moving a lot and um, because the spike is so long, but isn't this just the most beautiful <laughs> bloom? It's so cute. I've still got quite a few buds to open. You can see there is still quite a lot. Um, some of the buds are still so tiny that you can't really even see much at the very end. But the rest of them, I think they will open pretty soon as well. I initially thought that maybe this kind of oldest flower is gonna fall soon because I think it actually changed the color a little bit and it's maybe not as crisp but actually I think it's gonna stay open for for a bit longer so the, these flowers are not fragrant as you can see compared to my hand you know they are not the biggest flowers but once they all open if they all if none of them fall you know before the rest of them open it's gonna be a pretty good show and um, you can see the spike is pretty long so that's really nice and it does take a bit of space to kind of accommodate it so I moved it on my shelves somewhere else um, so that you know that spike can actually fit in the shelves and we don't knock it over by mistake um, but I was looking forward to these blooms for a long time I just find them so cute I love the spots so the colors, I think on the camera, the colors are pretty nice and kind of showing really well. Um, it is kind of yellowish, orangey kind of color, the actual sepals and petals, and then really bright red dots. Um, so yeah, amazing. So as I say, they've only opened a few days ago, um, so I have no idea how long they're gonna last for, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I do monthly videos, uh, monthly kind of collection update videos, so 
if you're interested, check them out. And that's when I usually kind of give an update on the orchids and, you know, things like how long they bloomed for, etc. Et and how, um, you know, how many blooms open by the end of a month. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on those. And I'm sure we'll do another Care Collab update at some point and I'll be able to explain more about that in that video but as of now you know as i say really nice plant pretty small i would call it a miniature orchid and um, so it doesn't take up a lot of space at all i grow it potted and um, i don't want to repeat myself too much i haven't really repotted this since our first video so it's still sitting in bark and ceramics mix um, and the roots are growing pretty well let me show you some so you can see they're kind of circling the pot um, and they seem really nice and healthy. I've got the microfiber wick in the pot as well. So you can see the pot is pretty well hydrated and I've got just a little bit of water in the pot, in the decorative pot, so that it can kind of, you know, hydrate the plant. I've kind of noticed that this orchid likes water quite a lot and um, so it it drinks up the water pretty quickly so that's why I kind of started leaving the water reservoir in the pot so that it can hydrate itself a little bit more um, I don't I don't give it as much water during winter I kind of try and give it kind of a, you know a drier period but it's not like I don't stop watering it completely um, so I am watering it a little bit but now you know because it's I mean it's constantly growing so you can see the leaf growing from the middle and these leaves just keep coming they never really stop but now when the orchid has got a spike to sustain and the growth um, I kind of try and fertilize it regularly as well I recently started showering my orchids so I would take my orchids into the bath and then take the shower and just shower the whole plant, the pot. I take them out of the decorative pots. So the water goes right through the media and just flushes out the media as well. The water goes on the leaves, on the spikes, on the flowers, everywhere. So the whole plant is drenched. Um, and I've only been doing this for the past three, four weeks. So, so far so good. The plants seem to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. My water here is about 60 parts per million tap water. Um, so it's not, you know, it's not too hard. So it seems, it seems okay. And also because it flushes everything out, even if the water is a bit harder, I think it's not a big deal. And um, if you flush it all regularly. So I'll try and do that and see how it goes. I fertilize my orchids during the week. So usually twice a week, uh, but I kind of just watch the pots and see, you know, if it is still water in the pot, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it. If it's dry, then I would have a kind of diluted fertilized water. So about 200 parts per million. And that's how they get fertilized. So, so far so good. And um, I grow them under LED lights. This is a vandacious type of orchid and they are usually pretty highlight orchids. You can see the leaves are pretty dark green. So I actually thought it's maybe not getting enough light to be able to bloom, but apparently it's okay. So I don't have grow lights or anything. I just use LED lights and they seem to be working. They seem to be okay. You know, the plants are pretty happy growing well. Um, I've got fans on my shelves as well to kind of sustain the ear movement. So yeah, seem, seems to be doing pretty well. So that's it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I say, please go and check out the other channels as well. You will find the links to their videos in my description below. So it's easy to find. Um, but if you guys have a Mala Chica, let me know how yours is doing. Um, I hope it's going to bloom for you soon or it's maybe already in bloom, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next one. Bye.